If you have cash savings today, the real question is, what do you do with it? Even some of these quote-unquote high-yield savings accounts that you can open online pay only about a half a percent. So how would you like to earn over 7% on your cash? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, there is such an opportunity right now in U.S. savings bonds. We're going to spend a few minutes talking about this today, specifically what you need to know. Stick around. The U.S. government borrows money in a bunch of different ways. One avenue is by going directly to the public. And the public-facing platform for this is this treasurydirect.gov, which you can see up here on the screen. So if you go to this website, you can see all the different savings instruments that the Treasury is offering and the current rates of interest being offered. So for example, if you go down here, and click on interest rates for series i savings bonds you're going to be directed to this next page now as you can see and i've i got this highlighted right here the current rate of interest being offered on i bonds is 7.12 percent so this is the real deal right now in real time as we record this it's november 18th 2021. now i'm sure you're saying to yourself there's got to be a catch to this thing right well, I don't know if there's a catch, but there are some things you need to know. Number one, and this is probably the most significant, individuals are limited to $10,000 per year of I-bond purchases. So, of course, for wealthier individuals, you know, $10,000 hardly moves the needle. But here's a couple of key things to point out. Number one, the key word in what I just said is individuals. So a husband and wife can purchase $10,000 each for a total of $20,000 per calendar year. Also of note, I'm recording this, it's uh, the latter part or in the latter half of November. You know, we're close to the end of the year. Come January, a husband and wife could purchase an additional combined $20,000 worth of I-bonds. So in total, over the next two months, you know, a, again, a married couple could purchase $40,000 worth of I-bonds. And when we're talking about, you know, the average American household, we're actually talking about real money here. So that's a really important point to understand. Now, the other key thing to understand is the interest rates on these things. How do they work? Well, we just talked about the quoted, the face rate is 7.12% annualized. When it comes to I-bonds, there's two components of the interest rate. There's a fixed and a variable, but we're really just going to focus on the variable aspect of that today. The variable rate resets every six months. So right now, if you purchase I-bonds, you're going to get 3.56%. Now, if you multiply that by two, that comes out to 7.12% on an annualized basis, and that's how interest rates are always quoted. But the key thing to understand is if you purchase I bonds today, you're going to earn 3.56% over the course of the next six months. And then the Treasury will reset the rate of interest based on where inflation is at that point in time. Right now, inflation is running hot, and that's why this interest rate is so high. Uh, you know, it's conceivable that, it, that inflation will be at the same rate six months from today. And we could say a similar or unchanged interest rate moving forward. But this really kind of comes down to your individual view. What, what do you think inflation is going to be down the road? If you think inflation is going to cool, well, you know, the variable rate is also going to follow that on the downside. But likewise, if inflation gets hot, like we saw in the late 1970s, I mean, it's possible that the interest rate could be higher. But the key thing to understand is this thing resets every six months. So a couple other key points that I think are worth mentioning. Number one, you have to make a 12 month commitment to these. There's no exceptions. That is one, that, that may be the most important thing. Don't commit any money that you're gonna need within 12 months because you're not gonna be able to get it out. Now, after 12 months, you can redeem, but if it's been less than five years, uh, you give back the most recent three months worth of interest, which frankly, to me, really isn't that big of a deal. That's a pretty generous uh, penalty, if you want to call it that. Once you've held I-bonds for five years, there is no penalty to get out. So pretty good deal from that perspective. I-bonds mature after 30 years, so you know potentially 
These things could be held for decades. And last but not least, there are no state or local income taxes on the interest earned from I-bonds. You know, what I've seen from a handful of clients throughout the years is people purchase these on an annual basis and they start building these up. One thing that's interesting about them is you can choose to defer the taxes, which just means you don't pay any tax until you actually redeem the bonds, which could be decades in the future. And that can especially be attractive to folks who are higher income earners um, and wanna obviously defer taxation as long as possible. So look, if you have some cash, and you're looking for a better rate of return, I think I-bonds look like a very attractive opportunity. In fact, this morning when I was reading about this, I literally went to treasurydirect.gov, set up my account, it took probably 10 minutes, and I purchased 10 grand worth of these I-bonds. I did it myself, it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, again, this is something individuals have to do directly. Uh, you can't hire someone like me to do this for you. This is the treasury going directly to the public. So it looks like an interesting opportunity, particularly if you think uh, inflation is gonna continue to run hot uh, for the foreseeable future. This is a great way to earn Potentially, if you're married, you could get 40,000 bucks in, into this instrument uh, over the course of the next two months. So, hey, thanks for watching today. If you want to find me out there on YouTube or Twitter, uh, here's my contact. You can also drop me an email. Our focus as a firm really comes down to retirement planning for individuals over age 50. Feel free to reach out. That's what we're here for. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, hope we'll see you next time.